We know that in EV charging and EV driving, cost can be a hugely prohibitive factor. And that certainly used to be true a few years ago. But now we've got such access to subsidies and grants provided by central government through to local authorities and also into the individual homeowner. So it's never been a better time to think about the overall cost of that. If you think carefully about the total cost of ownership, so what you're paying per month for that electric vehicle versus the cost saving you will make on the electric required to power the vehicle, it usually works out break even if not even better and that message is just not getting through people are thinking that utilizing an internal combustion engine vehicle like a diesel or a petrol if it's a sort of three-year-old vehicle chances are the price is going to be comparable if not better to go EV so it's about really crunching the numbers breaking it down and looking at you as an individual how many miles do you do and thinking carefully about how you want to utilize that vehicle